بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس سٹوڈنٹس ان ٹوڈیز ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک دیٹ از ایکسٹینیس روٹس سٹوڈنٹس وین وی سالو اینی گیون ریڈیکل اکویژن سو وی ہیو ٹو فائنڈ آؤٹ اینڈ وین وی فائنڈ دا روٹس آف دا گیون اکویژن we have to check them whether the roots satisfies the given equation or not if the root satisfies the given equation the roots will become the part of solution set of the given equation and if the roots are doesn't satisfy the given equation the roots will be called as extraneous roots of that particular given equation now students we have an example consider this example you can see x in the radical sign x is under the radical sign that is equals to x minus 2 so how these roots come out if we square both sides of the given equation by squaring the equation so our first step is to take square on both sides of this given equation yes we have square root of x taking the square is equal to now taking the square of this x minus 2 here we have to apply the formula students the formula is a square minus uh, a minus b whole square is equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab now we are going to apply this formula here on the right hand side of this equation and here on the left hand side we cancel out this square with this square root so we have x on the left hand side is equal to now open the formula applying this formula we have x square plus 2 square minus 2 into x into 2 now open the squares on the right hand side x square plus 2 uh, 2 square is 4 is equal to 4 minus 2 into 2 is 4, 4 into x is 4x. Here on the left hand side, x. Now, take this, this x on that side, so we have 0 here, is equal to x square plus 4 minus 4x. And when this x, we write this x on the right hand side, the sign of this x changes, it is minus x. Now, since so all these, these two terms, so we have minus 5x. 0 is equal to x square minus 5x plus 4. Now change the sides. First right or change the sides. So right hand side become the left hand side. And here on the left hand side 0 is here. 0 goes to the right hand side. So we have x square minus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now factorize this quadratic equation. So what is the coefficient of x square? That is 1. Now multiply 1 with 4. Answer is 4. Now think two numbers. When we multiply these two numbers, we have the answer 4. And when we subtract or add these two numbers, we have the answer minus 5x. So 4 and 1 are the answer. This is the pair. So we write as minus 4x minus x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, if we solve these two terms, we will have this middle term minus five x. Now, take x as the common in first two terms. So we have x into x minus four. Now, minus one is common in these two terms. Minus one into x minus four is equal to zero. Now, students. We have two roots, x minus four and x minus one. 
now we have x minus 4 as a common factor and we have another factor that is x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now either x minus 4 is equal to 0 or we have x minus 1 is equal to 0. Here we have the value of x is x is equal to 4 or x is equal to 1. Now give name this is the equation number 1 that is the given equation under root x is equal to x minus 2 actually it's our basic equation and give the name that is equation number 1 now we have to put the these two values x is equal to 1 4 and x is equal to 1 in equation number 1 okay students now by putting x is equal to 4 in equation number 1 we have square root of 4 is equal to 4 minus 2 so what is the answer of square root of 2 uh, sorry square root of 4 that is 2 is equal to 4 minus 2 is 2 students look at the answer on the left hand side on the right hand side here the answer is true and on the right hand side answer is true so it means that this x is equal to 4 basically satisfies the given equation on both sides so that's why it will become the part of the solution set of the given equation now we check the other root that is x is equal to 1 now putting x is equal to 1 in equation number 1 Now, putting x is equal to 1 in equation number 1, we have square root of 1 is equal to 1 minus 2. So, what is the answer of 1 square root of 1? That is 1. And when we solve 1 minus 2, answer is minus 1. So students here on the left hand side the answer is 1 and on the right hand side the answer is minus 1. So it's not possible 1 is not equal to minus 1. So that's why x is equal to 1 a doesn't satisfy the given equation. Therefore we can say that extraneous roots does not belong to the given equation. It means that x equal to 1 is an extraneous root x equal to 1 is an extraneous root so what is the solution set of this equation the solution set of this equation is only 4 which satisfy satisfies the given equation so dear students today we have discussed about extraneous roots when we solve the radical equations and uh, in this video you have also learned that how to solve the given equation thank you so much i hope that you like this video Please subscribe to my channel if you want to get more important videos. Take care. Allah Hafiz.